Dear Mr. President, this is a letter from me and the millions of Kenyans who woke up as early as 3 a.m. on August 9th, 2022 to vote you into the house on the hill. We are proud you are the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya. You are the first president in the Kenyan politics to break the dynasty chain. Kenya saw a new dawn when we saw that we can achieve anything through self-determination and believing in our vision. Mr. President, you came up with the hustler movement whereby we believed in you that you, you can achieve anything since you are a product of humble beginnings. You are our president, the Haslam. You beat a million odds to become the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya. Dear Mr. President, you've broken one of the promises you declared in your manifesto. You promised Kenyans that immediately you assume office, the first 100 days, maize flour, or better known as ungam, will decrease in price in shopping outlets, but that's not the case. It's now almost two months since you were sworn into the house on the hill. Mr. President, do you know millions of Kenyans are starving and sleeping hungry on a daily basis? Do you know that? There are Kenyans out here who can hardly place a meal on their tables even for a day. Kenyans are starving. Kenyans are facing harsh economic times in the country. Did you lie to the common Mwanainchi in order for you to get votes? We clearly understand that the former government left the Treasury bankrupt, but Mr. President, things aren't easy either. A two kilogram packet of maize flour goes for around 200 shillings, and most Kenyans are hustlers. They feed from hand to mouth. Sometimes it's even hard for them to get a small hustle or kibarua to feed their families. You promise to bring all. Kenyan communities together, and that is very wise and kind of you, Mr. President. We are struggling. Kenya is struggling. This letter may not reach you, but Mr. President, Kenyans on my YouTube channel shall read it and understand the pain we are all going through. When the high cost of living goes up, all Kenyans suffer no exception we know you have a lot on your plate right now and you are trying to figure out ways to make sure the kenyan economic be stable only god can see us through these tough economic times kenyans are currently facing you suffer we suffer we all suffer kenya suffers may this letter reach you god bless kenya and may God bless you, Mr. President. Give the video a thumbs up, hit the notification button so that every time I drop a new video, you'll be notified. Thank you for tuning into Zafarani TV.